pounds with him at a higher weight class. So why should I worry about Morales? The thing about Morales, he's a finisher. He hurts you. This first round, a perfect microcosm for the scoring challenge that Mike face nudges here. McCullough landing more, Morales landing harder. A trade leather down the stretch in round one. And a proper return to championship level boxing for the city of Detroit. And Morales, if he gets himself together and stops crossing that left foot backwards as he back up so he can stay in position, can do some hit damage. Morales before countering with one hard right hand. And now the uppercut does damage. McCullough wobbled slightly. And now McCullough dances to show Morales that he's okay. Wait until he can start punching again. When he's not punching, he's not doing anything. Hard right hand and hard left hand landed by McCullough. Now Morales lands a left hook. Can advance with his punches. As long as McCullough is on top of him. More underneath. Left hook forces McCullough back. Morales goes to the body. McCullough comes with body shots of his own. Yep. Hard right hand by McCullough. Hard right hand by Morales. McCullough comes back with a right and a left of his own. McCullough see, pressing to the body. When you see what Morales just did, easy to see that he may get more credit for it. Good right hand by McCullough. He certainly will get credit for that one. Harold, how'd you score through the first three? You know, Jim. Whoa. Body shot by Morales. Right hand to the body. That's something I don't think McCullough's ever had. One shot to the body like that. That may change and another the hard right hand to the body by Morales and another right and left to the body and clearly Eric Morales has decided in this round to go to the midsection and now McCullough backs him up with a hard uppercut. He's got to change that tonight. Well, he, he's tasted. Hey, this guy doesn't have any power. I can allow him to hit me. And fire back with combinations like that. The right hand to the body. Morales is now doing a brilliant job of using his body assault to set up power punches upstairs. It looks like there's blood. Is it coming from McCullough's left ear? It's hard to say exactly. There's some blood along the left side of his face. That's a new one, George. I never heard that. Yeah, yeah. Don't shave too close before about no, you match. stay away from him. Joe Frazier was real smart about that. He'd have this beard, so it'd just be right. Okay, my break. My break. Runs out of his corner after this, after six rounds of that. Woo, he right hurt. Right hand. The first time McCullough got in a shot that hurt. You got to get in a few of those. Harold, how do you have it through six? Jim. His father telling him in the corner, you gave that round away. Hard right hand lands for Morales. McCullough momentarily stunned. Maybe it has something to do with those gloves that Morales imported from up, Japan. Up, Series of body shots from McCullough. Morales stands there and takes them and comes back with a vicious right hand. McCullough trying to play a little possum. Didn't fool Eric. Eric lands a counter right. Four. McCullough keeps throwing and throwing. Another counter left hand for Morales. Here we'll see Morales landing his Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday punch. McCullough comes right back. As articulated by Harold Letterman when he was giving you his good right hand. Yes. Morales does more damage. McCullough landed that right. Morales comes back with a combination, including a hard right hand shot of his own. The right eye of Eric Morales. Attacking and putting his hands on Morales' head. Not a lot of power in those punches, but they're landing. McCullough's tough. We're into the ninth of a scheduled 12, and they've connected enough for two fights. Some of the slow paces we've seen recently. Morales is willing to take. You know, and his. As clearly as Morales is outclassing McCullough now, if you look closely at him, he's taking some punishment as well. Yep. Both of his eyes are swollen. From the nose of McCullough now. McCullough plants a straight right on the face of Morales, and Morales comes back. But he wants to come back and get you two. Good left hook by McCullough this time. Yep. 
Another good left hook. He set up the right hand afterwards and just missed by inches. Blood Got it that time. A little bit of a lively comeback here from McCullough. Woo! Good body punching by McCullough. Another excellent body shot by McCullough. Back Morales up. So you've got two locomotives meeting in the center of the ring, and neither man wants to give any quarter. Another right hand shot by Morales. Time and time. Out. Only just reached back. Pick it up from the ground. George, I think you're going to have to go in there and help him. It ain't Another big round for the Mexican star. Left lands underneath. McCullough comes back firing. What a show of courage by the pocket rocket. Oh! McCullough! <laughs> no. The sweet science should get and deserves. Let's give it to Morales because he's not content to sit on a lead. He's still fighting. Oh, fight these are two tough out. guys. Look at this. But they are. Now, chaos theory is rapidly taking over. <laughs> Uppercut, right cross. McCullough coming back with body shots. Morales since. This is, it's almost incomprehensible what these two gallant fighters have done to each other tonight. But it's comprehensible to this crowd. Stand and cheer, everybody. Stand and cheer. You don't see many like that. Barzi has come back to Detroit. Here he is, McCullough, coming through the pain to land a left and a solid, solid. Morales comes through whatever he has absorbed to do his stuff. Wow. The Tijuana, Mexico, El Terrible.